Hello guys and welcome back. This is COD1 Mania TV with you once again. Uh, we move to another match which is uh, Punk52 versus Super Kids. Uh, I believe this is the first map. I'll uh, get that confirmed in no time. Uh, Punk52 leading 7-4 uh, and uh, right now uh, they are pushing inside. They fake the bomb and one of the players pushed to the alley is Meta who gets stacked pretty hard and uh, after afterwards gets killed by the burn. And the situation is 1v4. Uh, Asthma has to clutch for his team uh, from Mayor, uh, which I believe Super Kids will uh, cover. Uh, yeah, Asthma no HP already and uh, gets killed uh, from choke but also uh, super kids uh, showing pretty strong defense so far the first side was seven to three and now they've managed to score two points in a row <coughs> we move to round number 13 and uh, let's see how uh, punk 52 will play it again meta is playing with garant to have those uh, two nades instead of one uh, his job no I just, I'm sorry, uh, too much work I think, yeah, Meta with Gara uh, is gonna throw the nades and will uh, try to blend the bomb for his team. Uh, as you can see, Super Kids are choosing uh, pretty smart their positions in order not to in order not to get naded. As you can see, there are many nades. Uh, that are going down on a chair position. Creepy gets taken by the nade from uh, from Punk to the stairs position. Uh, Burn spots one who already crossed behind Mare, I think. Yeah, looks like it. It will be Agazi this time. Uh, loses some HP but gains this strong position on this map. Uh, explosives are actually going down by Meta. Well played by this guy. He will die, but uh, what a position for Punk. Uh, Right now Hemi trades on choke and uh, it's 4v4, uh, super kids, uh, Basha knows there is one player behind the first runes, uh, but Botsy and Hemi uh, take care of both now, Akazi has one more kill onto spirit and it's just creepy with almost no HP on the chair, scores nice headshot on Akazi, but there is two more left and uh, Asthma will take care uh, of the last player of super kids, so it's 8-5. Uh, and round number 14. Yeah. Yeah. I'm right now lagging a bit. Okay, it's stable, nice. Choke with MP40 in the B range, gets spotted the hotel guy and uh, gets naded so he loses half of his HP. It's another nade but this one won't hit him. Uh, Punk 52 showing really strong nades on almost every map but uh, especially this one Harbor and really hard so that is a factor definitely that uh, super kids have to deal with. Basha, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, not weird, but uh, uncommon position playing his scope in a complex. Downstairs gets spotted. Burn, uh, on the other hand, uh, very usual position for him. Uh, creepy kills the guy crossing, and now well timed nades. Well, well timed nades from Punk. Who Meta, Meta got to side, but when running away, got killed and uh, very, uh, very quick round. Uh, Punk 52 tried to push it as fast as they can, but uh, it was not successful attack. And uh, score is 8 to 6. Super Kids uh, again showing pretty, pretty strong defense. Uh, we don't see anything special in terms of kills. There is nobody carrying his team in general. All players saw uh, approximately the same, same results. So. We see Basha, I think he's got a scope and I've seen him doing this on LAN. Oh no, okay, he switched to MP, kills the planter, uh, spots another one behind hotel, well played by Basha. Uh, he stops the fast attack of Punk and I think we're gonna see some peaking games. Uh, 
yeah, uh, Hemi with full HP on site on uh, in Mayor, he was able to go there I think together with uh, Meta. So all the players were focusing on him. Meanwhile, Asma kills choke in the B ruins. So Gazi is planting the bomb, not able to do it, uh, and uh, it's two v two. Just burn and spirit in the complex, and I think B is open. Asma is very aware of that, and he decides to push. Uh, nice move from him, uh, unspotted so far. Uh, but see in hotel up, I think he's waiting for his friend to actually do something to draw some attention uh, so he can peek and punish his opponents while rotating to B. Um, let's see what Asma will do here. Uh, decides not to fake the bomb. Uh, he spots one, gets stacked, but also tags his enemy, but no. Uh, not gonna happen, Spirit kills him and it's up to Botsy, so he can peek now and try to attack A. No, actually pushes Ellie. Uh, Spirit is kind of vulnerable if Botsy decides to move on. Maybe he can come from his back, but uh, let's see. Uh, Spirit spots him and uh, Burn now knows. Burn now knows where his opponent is. Spirit is waiting for him to come and Win. manages to kill him, so only one point lead for Punk52 now and they are struggling a lot uh, getting through Punk52 defense. I don't wanna enter aircom password to write it to console, I'm not sure whether they can see what I'm writing now. Spirit's got the anti uh, ready and set up, uh, meanwhile uh, Basha gets killed on B and there is only Choke who's right now protecting the B side from super kids. Meta is waiting on his spot to plant the bomb. Uh, I think they will time it somehow with nades or peaks. You see. Meta is gonna get the bomb planted again, great job from this player, he's gonna die now to nade probably, yes, exactly, but still 4v4 with explosives planted, that's a great position to be in for Punk52. Uh, Creepy kills one with a headshot with his rifle, it's a hemi in B ruins that will go down. There are only Botsy behind the hotel who goes down and Asthma and Gazi. Uh, Asthma hotel downstairs and it's now a well good position to be in but spirit with beautiful no scope. And, uh, it's just Asthma once gonna defuse the bomb. Asthma gets one but now gets uh, gets traded immediately after burn. Axis win. We almost got kicked guys, but after all I've managed to reply to Botsy in time, so score score is even right now and uh, Punk52 will, I would say, have to do some changes because uh, they're playing the same tactic over and over and Super Kids are dealing just fine with them so far. Astafan, no HP in the hotel, gets stacked from a guy in the complex upstairs. Uh, Pasha behind the tank gets killed by Astma. Nice random nade. Creepy again on this spot where he's not getting naded, so I, I like the switch of position from him. And uh, Punk 52 again struggling. 
also in trouble, so went over now. Uh, Spirit tries to cross to Mayor, but uh, gets punished from Asthma, so 3v3. And uh, all the players are on A right now, nobody's covering B. Punk 52, I don't think they're gonna punish this, they already decide to push A, so it's 3v3 around A side now. Uh, yeah, I think this was named behind Hotel and Asthma has no HP, so you will get, get killed from this one. Meta finally decides to push B, but uh, one player already rotated and choke. Beautifully, beautifully played from him. Gets four punk 52 guys, a top figure for his team, and uh, secures an end point. So, uh, super kids are getting closer and closer to win the first map of this match. At least I think it's the first map, so. Again, I would expect Punk52 maybe to try pushing B, but uh, it's not happening. Punk52 preparing the nades, meanwhile Asthma gets killed from Choke. It's a 17th kill to the uh, to his total score. And uh, I guess he will try crossing Mare, but gets killed from Krivi. Uh, beautiful, beautiful prey from this guy. They are just denying... Uh, everything from punk 52 now not allowing them to do everything uh, meta uh, fakes the bomb and botsy is able to kill spirit who peeks from from ellie so uh, they managed to get at least one and uh, try to even the status of the round which is uh, three before we see some prey fires into a ellie uh, basha kills hemi and uh, it's up to Botsy and Meta to to tie up the score. Uh, Super Kids though playing it pretty aggressive. Uh, Basha gets punished for this. Meta is close to push B now and uh, Botsy is trying to support him. Choke rotates. Uh, so this one will be covered. He spots Meta but uh, makes a mistake and uh, doesn't land a kill, so uh, both players of Punk 50 to approximately same HP. And uh, Choke is waiting for him to peek, Meta takes him, but doesn't get it done, well played from Choke. And uh, Botsy is clutching, Win. running out of time and also runs out of life, which means Super Kids uh, have the map point, the first map point of this game. Punk 52 uh, need two points in a row and then win the overtime So let's see whether they succeed or not uh, They will try to do it with uh, another a push I cannot say I agree and creepy also doesn't agree he picks offensively it pays out for him and uh, He lands an open kill on Hemi So 5v4 in favor of super kids now uh, Spirit gets naded in Ali. Meta waiting to plant a bomb, but uh, will be denied with anti plant. Meta sees it coming, uh, tries to run away. He does actually. Uh, right now, if uh, Super Kids had the nades behind Hotel, they would kill three players. But uh, not gonna happen. Creepy is hit, uh, almost no HP. And Meta is too cross to the side again. Spirit uh, waiting to peek. Uh, he does, but gets killed immediately by Ghazi. And this looks great for Punk uh, planting the bomb. Uh, Meta is also alive on the on A side. Uh, Botsy, Botsy goes creepy. Asthma adds another one on burn, and it's uh, time for Choke to uh, carry Super Kids right now and uh, do some magic. They know where he is now. Choke spots him in a hotel downstairs, but Agazi comes over with a nice headshot and uh, manages to make it pretty interesting now. Punk 52 weren't able to score so many points on allies on the A push, but right now they've managed to. Uh, despite uh, despite creepy was able to land an open kill for his team so 
I think we are gonna see the same play. It's exactly Asma right now, waiting for uh, uh, Super Kids to pick from the B. Basha, despite the score stance, he's playing it pretty aggressive. I think he got spotted though, so they know where he is. He's behind the tank. Uh, Meta waiting for his opponents to throw nades to the hotel. But uh, it's not wise to go to plant with almost no HP. Let's see how he manages. Meanwhile, Botsy throws the nade somewhere in the complex, I think. Meta goes down to burn, nice headshot when uh, in the mid air with his MP44. Uh, and Funk managed to get to side, fake the bomb and run away immediately, but uh, I don't think they baited any nade out of Super Kids. No, they did not. Basha. Waiting patiently for his opponents to come, but uh, Creepy doesn't even allow that. Uh, scoring two kills on Punk and it's 2v5. Uh, creepy adds another one. Beautiful play from him and uh, Botsy able to only land one. That gets, uh, gets traded immediately from Basha. <sighs> Great result. Uh, great job from both teams. Superkids showing some teeth on Tiger Town. And uh, we will move to second map, which will be very, very interesting. Uh, as we know, Punk 52 are really, really strong on Rail Yard, but let's see how Super Kids do. I think they are a very decent team on this map as well. Uh, plus, I, I haven't seen them uh, in this lineup on Rail Yard, so. Will definitely be close, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, after all the players are ready, we can start. Can start the second map of this match.
Okay, uh, I think I provided you with wrong information. I'm not sure about how they set up the rules. So it seems like uh, there's gonna be another bash round, which uh, would mean that the score is 1 to 1 and this map will be a decider. Let's see how these guys do. I don't think Bash is uh, such a huge factor, but to be honest, Punk 52 have really strong attack due to their nades, and it's uh, really hard and really challenging to beat them as a defending side. You have to cooperate real well. In the retakes, uh, these guys don't make it easy for you. Uh, nice fly attack attempt from Creepy manages to uh, hit his opponent. Uh, gets stacked as well. Uh, burn no HP goes down to Bootsy. And uh, looks like uh, we're gonna see Punk 52 on the attack. Attacking side at first. Uh, Choke doesn't agree. Let's see if he can clash this one for his team. Uh, <laughs> I guess it takes his teammate. Asthma is no HP now, but uh, yeah. Choke doesn't really have it. Doesn't really have it any easy end. Punk 52 are attacking. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Botsy being a huge fan of football. This is uh, his specialty, I would say, even in real life. So he he manages to show his skills even online. Yeah, it's uh, it's confirmed. So, well, at least I think it is confirmed. This is the third map. So, deciding on Reliart, I think uh, Punk 52 should be stronger on this map. But uh, Super Cat showing many surprises in this cup in this lineup. So, uh, let's see if I'm wrong or not. Definitely gonna be a great game to watch. Round number one is uh, starting, all players are ready and... Let's see what par 52 does, it seems like a split. Yeah, uh, three three players pushing uh, pushing through the woods uh, so they can throw more nades and uh, super kits. So let's see how they deal with these. Spirit uh, uh, near corner box uh, is gonna have a pretty hard time. Doesn't know which nades to expect. There will be definitely some to the corner box. Yes, exactly. It's flying already. Uh, he gets stacked. Meta kills him. Agazi adds another one. Meta will plant a bomb for his team. Doesn't look like Super Kids have anti plant ready. Which makes it pretty easy. Meta even manages to escape. And it's 5v3 now. This is a position where well, Punk 52 will be extremely hard to to get attack from super kids uh, Agazi adds another headshot from Basha and it's up to Creepy and Choke 2v5 Meta <laughs> plants the bomb and then pushes uh, pushes in their back uh, but uh, I don't think he will be able to get there in time now but see nice kill with his pistol and uh, we see first round going to punk 52 and we have to say it's a pretty clean one not a big deal uh, super kids will have to swap the positions a lot due to the nades they will have to find the safe spots and uh, punish punk 52 rushing from these again pretty standard one hemi decides to push b uh, to make uh, the life of super kids a bit painful Choke knows there is one guy and decides to play it safe. Uh, 
Hemi spots him, hits him and eventually kills him. Great play from him and this is uh, really painful for super kids now. They have to change their tactic, they have to send creepy up to B and uh, Spirit uh, manages to kill Meta who is usually the bomb for punk. So great job. Asthma meanwhile trades uh, with an Aegon Basha. Uh, Spirit spots another one. Spots two actually and gets killed by Agazi, he adds another one from the B and there is only Explosives Burn planted. with his scope. He's surrounded by Punk 52 players and uh, Punk 52 are doing great job so far on the attack. Uh, super kits, uh, as I said, it takes a lot of uh, teamwork unless they have, uh, unless they have another uh, roster for uh, like adding uh, choke and creepy. Well, I'm gonna have a hard time. Creepy decides to go on the roof, cover the kokosh. But Botsy knows how to throw donate in here, so <laughs> he does not though. Spirit will get naded in here, I think. Actually, no, does not. Full HP. Uh, Agassi and Meta get killed, and uh, this round is well handled from Super Kids. So, Basha not having much HP, but able being able to hold against the first push of Punk, and this one is usually the most important one. Hemi, it's a kill on Spirit, and uh, Botsy is trying to do up down. Doesn't manage to do it though, and Creepy punishes him. Two v four. Choke uh, finally rushes to Punk 52's back and uh, kills Hemi, and it's only Asthma for Punk 52. I think Choke will eventually get killed. No, he he gets the info from his team, I think, or uh, he senses something cheeky and. Uh, Kills Asthma with nice rifle shots. So, Super Kids adding uh, first point from uh, Axis Axis side, and uh, round number four is here. Let's see what it brings to us. Punk 52 are well tactically prepared, but uh, they are struggling. Uh, right now because they play all the same tactics. So far it pays out for them as they land open kill on uh, Creepy. It's very it's very important to score these open kills for uh, defending side. We see great nades coming from Punk 52. Uh, Agazi uh, kills Basha with the corner box and it's 2v5 now. Explosive Not much point. to be done. Uh, Choke kills one but goes down. Burn kills one as well and it's 1v3. Tries to land some no scopes, but uh, he's not lucky to do it. And Gazi doesn't want to peek. As Burn is uh, no HP, Asuma decides to push him and win. picks up the kill. Red job from Punk, adding one more point and. Uh, that means they are one point closer to the victory in this match. And moving on uh, one round further in the in the playoff. We've seen Punk 52 struggling recently on uh, on uh, LAN events, especially the one in Budapest where they ended uh, on the fifth place. But they seem to come back in pretty great shape, showing some strength. Definitely showing they are one of the strongest team of the tournament. Uh, great shot from Spirit on Hemi. And that means there is no more threat in terms of rifle. In the hangar there is only Meta. Who will right now nade a corner box. And uh, eventually will push. Meta gets good from Basha. Uh, Basha is showing some teeth behind the corner box. And uh, in only a few seconds. Super Kids are 5v2. They are going for uh, 
second point. Both players of punk are in woods. Uh, super kids are very well aware of that. That means they can push the hangar and uh, lock the punk 52 players in. Axis win. Masha gets it done. Uh, Great play from him, despite getting only one kill behind the corner boss, it is so important not to get killed by the knights and to score that kill on the guys that are pushing out of the hangar, so... Uh, great job, great job from this player. And Punk52, I think they should adjust it a bit. If they don't, uh, there is a real threat that uh, Super Kids will... Uh, just keep up with them and they ru then ruin their lives on uh, attacking side. Spirit though playing also the very same position and I would expect Punk52 to nade him on this one this round. Yep, exactly as I said. Uh, Pasha manages again to kill the guy but uh, gets straight from Agazi and right now Meta is gonna plant the bomb for his team. Uh, creepy kills Astman is 3v3 retake now for Punk52. Anti-plant not gonna do much as he manages to run under the ruins. Get stacked from a corner box grenade. get spotted and killed from choke uh, great job and this is uh, actually a round that uh, super kids really need and I think could win but uh, there is Agazi who plants two beautiful kills uh, gets killed from choke and uh, choke knows choke knows but uh, won't make a difference but see with a nice lick uh, adding fourth point to the bank 52 this round uh, well played from Super Kids, but uh, I don't think it was wise from Spirit to be on the very same spot for three rounds. This is something that Punk 52 will definitely punish. And uh, you have to be more flexible, you have to rotate a lot, you have to wait for the guy jumping on the top of Kokosh and then switch the position. Sometimes play two guys forward, sometimes place two guys backward. And combine these, iterate these over the defense uh, in order to be able to survive the grenades. Uh, Choke uh, kills one on B and Agazi kills him back and uh, yeah this is a B push. Fifth five players B push from uh, Punk52. Uh, Hemi decides to rotate to hangar and cover uh, cover the hangar. Yeah he manages to kill Spirit and the Punk52 doing it real well. They now have decided to split and push two players A, two players B. Not many nades though, so Basha, I think he can stay in the corner box, but uh, yeah, I think this one is going on top of him, yeah, exactly. Get stacked. Two players in hangar, one player is on woods, and there is just Asthma peeking B now. So there is two players from Super Kids locked on B, managed to kill one, and now it's only up to Basha, he's last man standing for his team on A. Uh, He survives the nade somehow, and now they know, they've got the intel, now they know that there is both of the players, Punk 52, and Agazi gets, uh, gets killed, it's Potsy 1v3 now, from Woods, last hope for uh, Punk 52. Burn ensures it's, uh, uh, it's not gonna happen, and ensures second point for Team Super Kids. <laughs> I think uh, we've seen some very smart plays from Punk52, but uh, they were too slow. They were too slow on A. If both players run out of the hangar, they would uh, likely be able to kill Basha, the corner box, and uh, there were two guys, two guys on B, so no one else. Uh, great plays from Basha. Definitely, this round is his, mostly, and. Uh, Pretty far, what seemed to be an easy allies is now great defense from Super Kids. Again, Spirit behind the alley box uh, can't do much. Uh,
explosives will already go down and explosives uh, planted. Meta plants it, he dies, but uh, Punk 52 Great position to be in for them uh, Aston kills Basha 4v4 now Creepy pushes Kokosh pretty aggressively, no, doesn't do it uh, And uh, gets stacked Akazi kills uh, one more player, a beautiful headshot from Spirit 2v3 <laughs> Choke manages to kill Hemi, who was uh, lurking on B, and it's 2v2. Botsy covering up his back where Choke is coming. Uh, Choke will die though, and uh, no, Spirit cannot cannot defuse the bomb. So 5 to 3 in favor of Punk, but uh, Super is doing great job. I mean, yeah, if they manage to score fourth or even fifth point, that would be amazing, obviously. But four points is a great result against Punk. We have to say that Punk 52 have a strong attack, but they also have very strong defense. So it's definitely it doesn't mean uh, Super Kids have already won it. But Creepy uh, fails to jump on the roof in time. Oh, I see he's... They're smart. Spots one player, burn, kills Asthma. So, uh... <laughs> Creepy gets stacked by this uh, nade. Uh, I believe it was Botsis. And I believe it was not random. Uh, Spirit, meanwhile, on the very same position again, but... Uh, pay enough to him killing Meta, so... Yes, he kills one but gets punished and uh, this one is the most important choke manages to do it and uh, I don't think he knows about bots, you know, he does not But manages to get to their spawn I'm not sure does he know yeah, I think he does now he attacks Botsy and uh, creepy He spots him but can't finish him off Yeah Nice play from Choke, yeah, this is exactly what you should do. But see, I don't think he will go to get him. No, he won't. He is actually going for him. That's interesting. But he will miss him, but I think he knows where he is. 20 seconds to go, Botsy decides to go on B, but uh, there is Creepy waiting for him. Win. Nice shot, finding Botsy below, below the lagoon, and uh, another point for Super Kids. Three players in a hangar, one going to B and two are gonna play from hangar. There are some changes in Punk 52 strategy right now. I've been waiting for Choke to come into the house. I don't think this is a good idea right now, but we'll see. Yeah, Choke gets killed from Hemi, Asthma it's another one on Basha in the corner box and the uh, explosives will go down. Meta gets stacked just a bit. Uh, we don't see we don't see strong anti-plants from super kids and uh, burn trades one but uh, not a big difference. Uh, creepy goes down and the burn is uh, in one week or clutch. Hemi's nade finds him. Great result though, and great job from Super Kids keeping up with the tempo Punk 52 have uh, set in the uh, first few rounds of this map. Now they need 7. They need 7 or at least 6 in order to make it uh, into the overtime. I'm pretty curious about uh, Punk 52 positions right now. 
because uh, when there is a showtime and meta in the match, showtime is usually around uh, alley box, meta around corner box, or proning here, here. So they don't have a rifle in the ruins, but uh, we see Hemi and Agassi now. I think Agassi will likely play the rifle and support meta who will be around corner box. And Hemi will definitely cover the crossing from the woods. Let's see if I'm wrong or not. Meta pushing corner box already. Agassi, yeah, exactly. So it's just uh, one guy up front uh, on A, and that's meta. They spot some PPS. I think this is biting. Uh, they are just biting the nades out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as you can see, Spirit only uh, fire some PPS shots. And now the nades will come out of the super kits. And the. Uh, uh, plate from Spirit uh, kills one. And the uh, Agassi already throwing the nades. The one box burn kills Botsy. Uh, Spirit, that's another one on Hemi. Beautiful, beautiful PSH place. Goes down eventually. Explosives but, uh, explosives are gonna go down for super kits, and uh, all super kits first are tagged. But uh, still, 4v2, Agassi, beautiful headshot. P, well played by him. Uh, 3 to go. 3 to go, and Agassi has to turn into beast mode now. Uh, super kids not over picking it, playing it real smart, and the burn is not someone you wanna you wanna uh, meet uh, waiting on this position. Yeah, exactly, Agazi. Allies win. Agazi sees what I meant by saying these words and shortcuts another one on Asma. So first point to super kids. Uh, decent, uh, decent defense uh, from Punk 52, but uh, the deciding moment of this round was when uh, Meta was not able to land a kill. When the kill on uh, uh, on uh, spirit, so now can pick up the stairs. Trying to bite out nades again. No, no nades from Bank. We are patiently waiting. Yeah, we see a nade hitting burn. You see nade to Kokosh, uh, another coming. Uh, he survives though, he expects the second one to come up. And uh, nades are prepared, and we are gonna see hang rush right now. Yeah, super kids have to go. Nice, uh, they managed to kill two great, great nades uh, out of super kids. And, uh, Spirit kills Botsy, kills Asthma as well, nicely done. Last man standing is Hemi, not much he can do with Spirit. Spirit showing some balls really. Score is even. And right now Super Kids are, are rolling towards the victory. Let's see if Punk 52 adjust their strategy somehow. Doesn't look uh, like a drastic changes as Akazi is keeping his rifle. And uh, yeah, still playing in the ruins, but cannot cannot find the open kills on attacking attacking super kids. Creepy will jump out of the woods, and uh, let's see if Hemi can land this one. One spirit kills third and kills even fourth. Wow, well, this guy, this guy is unstoppable with his PPSH. Nicely done. Super kids taking the lead for the first time on this map. Uh, seven to six, and uh, Punk 52 are struggling. Hemi 
finally there is the change I was talking about, the Hemi takes MP and we see I think two MPs up front, yes exactly. So it's a Hemi and Meta right now. Burn looks where his opponents are, I'm not sure whether he spotted any. It's like just a bit. It's a great night, I think it's from Botsi. Yes, exactly. Super kids nading, uh, they spot one behind the tank. Hemi, they know he's there. I don't know whether they will expect the second guy. Agazi open kills on Basha. Great job, Hemi gets stacked just a bit from the hangar. Uh, Spirit killed from Asma. The hangar, beautiful, beautiful shot from Hemi now. Uh, nice flick. Uh, the burn. Trying to do something for his team, not able to. Uh, it's up to choke. It's up to choke and choke is spotted. Doesn't go for him, honestly. Still five guys left, they know where he is. is Only on PPSH and Gazi will secure the seventh point, which makes the score even again. And uh, I really like this game, it's so close. So I also love the fact that Punk52 actually adjusted their strategy a bit. Uh, with uh, two MPs forward, uh, let's see if they change it again. Or, yeah, Hemi actually has MP, which means he will play this position. This one, this peak is uh, very strong, actually. Great position. If he spotted one, I did not, but I'm very tired today, so uh, maybe it was some random prefire. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it as Basha is stacked, so I think Hemi takes him. Uh, and Super Kids are preparing to throw nades. Meta, meanwhile, pushing it forward, uh, gets on the And the Punk 52 are nading Hangar right now. Uh, that's smart, they only threw some nades. To break out the Punk nades and are prepared to run. Meta gets killed immediately. And Hemi not gonna be able to do anything. Explosives will go down now. Gazi uh, kills the planter, but there is uh, spirit already pushing. He uh, gets killed from the ruins though, so two v three, and uh, it's Pasha and Burn, the only guys left to hold uh, Agazi. Great shot by Burn on burn and uh, 1v3, 1v3 with no HP and uh, Basha, if he manages to do it he would be the man of the day. It's Agazi who is the man of the day for Punk52 at least who scores 4 kills and uh, secures win. Uh, secures 8 point for Punk52 uh, and I have to say I really love this, I really love this and I also, uh, I also love the fact that uh, we cannot really predict the result of this game now because both teams showing some skills, showing some uh, ability, some flexibility and some ability to adjust their strategy and this is exactly what uh, Rally Art is about especially against teams such as uh, Punk52R they can note pretty much any spot so you have to do a lot of uh, uh, twists in your strategy and this is exactly what Super Kids are doing and I think they are doing a great job Burn uh, peeking on his standard spot, uh, looking for some kills. He manages to open kill on a top rigger Agazi, and uh, this is uh, this is a dream right now for uh, for Super Kids, uh, especially after adding another one on Potsi. Gets shut down from Meta, nice shot, uh, but still exit side 4v3, and uh, this ain't gonna be an easy hold for Meta. Can he do it? Uh, he cannot dare it. Three players running out of the hangar. And uh, that's not easy for a Hemi to deal with. Uh, Asma kills one behind the tank, and uh, it's only up to him. Manages to find one, and it's now 1v1. 
He knows where uh, Choke is and uh, Choke is no HP and Asma played it really great. So well then played from Punk. And uh, this point, this has to be frustrating for Super Kids. I mean, uh, in the first moment I thought it's there's uh, after burn open guild on two guys on A. It's so hard to defend it afterwards, but uh, Asthma. Asthma is the guy uh, who, who makes the hold. And I think right now Punk52 are cheering for him so hard. Super Kids uh, under some pressure. They need four rounds in a row to win this match. And uh, let's see how they do with this pressure. Choke doing some uh, uh, doing some uh, some moves on the B, so he tracks the attention of Punk 52 guys at least a bit. Uh, Asthma's got it all safely covered now, so it's 4v4 around A side as usually. Meta gets killed from Pasha, so that's one corner box guy down. And no one is up front, only Agazi covering the cross to A. And this is one of the below the range, so it's supposed to go down. Creepy goes down to Asma. Asma, can he get another one? No, uh, doesn't even take spirit. He's doing great job uh, under the range, so. This is about Akazi kills choke and it's 2v5, 1v4 and the uh, Basha. Basha's clutching 1v4 now. This is really intense, so and this is some pressure. He's gonna have to deal with no cannot do it, uh, not the best spot to be when he's getting win. crushed from both sides. And uh, especially with the explosives planted here, how did this happen? I mean and why? Never mind, uh, Punk52, nice retake, very well played and secured 10th point of this match and now this is the real pressure. Punk52 only need one point to win the whole match and Super Kids are... The only option for them is to gain all 3 points or they are out of this tournament. Two guys waiting for Burn to peek. I think he's gonna get naded soon, no, he's not uh... What's he spots one? Meta, I think it was Meta who killed the guy who ran out of the woods and Now we see Choke versus Asthma on the B yep. Meta gets naded a lot, uh, Spirit uh... Spirit kills Meta now and uh, there is uh, no more punk guys left up front around the tank. Uh, Spirit, I really like this bossy push, uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately gets uh, outsprayed by Botsy, so uh, won't get it done for his team. Meanwhile Basha with no HP faking the bomb. No nades from punk 52 though, so if he was planting the bomb he would actually be able to do it, but uh, he did not and burn kills meta so it's 3v3 all punk players around a1 in le and two in the ruins i think yes explosives going down and it's Explosive a retake planted. 3v3 retake from punk 52 uh, they spot him and actually kill him so basha goes down to agazi and it's, uh, and choke sees all the players kills two manages yeah. no burn takes down three but Great play from Choke. Under such a pressure, uh, that's something I really appreciate. It uh, it looks easier than it actually is. So uh, great job. And uh, Super Kids are two points. Super Kids are two points from from the overtime. This needs to be a perfect attack, and we might see an aggressive B push. No, no, we don't just three players pushing hangar which is pretty unstandard there's just burn that means there is not gonna be so many nades <laughs> burn faced, fails the jump twice in a row decides not to go for the third one and rather peaks peaks for his opponents He's looking for them 
There is Hemi to protect the Kokosh now. Both nading hangar. Uh, they see the nades flying out. Uh, and Punk 52 timed these nades so damn well. Uh, Hemi even kills uh, Burn. And it's up to Choke and Basha who are almost out of HP. And uh, they need this round in order, to, in order to stay in this tournament. Or at least have hope to stay in this tournament. Punk 52 not hunting, obviously in such a situation that's not something you wanna do, they rather wait for super kids to actually make some move. Uh, Cho gets killed and it's only only up to Basha. It's gonna happen Asthma with beautiful one tap and it's a GG. Beautiful game from both teams, actually a very close one, very tight, but it's Punk 52 who moves on and uh, super kids win. are out of the cup. Uh, Alright guys, uh, thank you thank you for watching this game, uh, if you've got uh, any feedback, either positive or negative, just write it to COD1 Money on Facebook and uh, stay tuned for more games. Uh, see ya, have a good night.